My name is uh, Louis Robitaille. I'm the artistic director of BGM Les Belles of Montreal, visiting Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> we usually travel uh, four to six months every year around the world. And it's, uh, it's a part, part of particularity of BGM. Uh, BGM is uh, in Canada, one of the dance companies who travel the most. So it's normal that we make friends a bit everywhere. Well, it's definitely hard, but uh, we make it work. A lot of the dancers have boyfriends, girlfriends, kids, even one of the dancers has children. And uh, the internet has done wonders for us. Skype helps a lot. We can talk to our, our loved ones on Skype. Um, but also, you know, it's, it's difficult. Sometimes the partners of the dancers come to visit for a few days and come stay with us for a few days. Um, also, just in general, being on tour a lot, you, you discover what works for you, and for each person it's different. For me, sometimes if it's a long tour, I have to find moments when to be alone and when to be with a group and when to take my time. And overall, just really take care of yourself. And as long as you take care of yourself, then normally you're pretty good with everyone. Not only we have a lot of uh, performances and uh, season in Montreal, in Quebec, in Canada, but around the world also. It's always a challenge when we travel to meet different audiences. Always a challenge. There's like, you know, it's really sad to be away from the people who you care about for such a long time, but um, there's kind of a beauty in it in a way because when you go home, you, you have this renewed sense of appreciation for whoever it was that you left behind. So. In a way, it's like it's kind of really special or a blessing, but it, it, I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Uh, we don't have all the same background. Uh, BGM, I, I think, has that quality that can uh, present themselves to all kinds of, uh, of public, of people. Uh, people who knows dance, people who doesn't know dance, young, middle, uh, older people. At the beginning, uh, Les Ballets Jazz of Montreal, like the name say, was a jazz dance company. Uh, Four years after, it's a little bit more like a ballet contemporary dance company. Um, like I say, uh, ballet for us is very important. But if you look uh, in the world, uh, the evolution of dance is tremendous since the past uh, 20 or 30 years. Uh, I think BGM today is uh, uh, show very well what uh, how dance, uh, the evolution of dance uh, until uh, up, up to today. It's very contemporary, very actual, very uh, uh, aware of all the influences and uh, I think the challenge is is to be always uh, uh, updated. Uh, I've been artistic director of the company for 14 years now, and this is my third visit in Mexico. Also, we had uh, Mexican uh, artists, dancers, who, uh, who were part of the company. Uh, I, thought, I think about uh, Edgar Zendejas and Lourdes, uh, uh, who was uh, at the same time in the company. But Edgar stayed uh, maybe more than 10 years. He still lives in Montreal. Uh, he has his own company now, his own project. He's a choreographer. And uh, we see each other quite often. Uh, so yes, we have... Uh, uh, friends around the world. You need technique, you need uh, aesthetic, you need uh, personality, character, you need uh, versatility. So uh, I think the versatility comes in the fact that all the dancers are not only trained in classical ballet, but they have other background also in jazz, in modern, in hip hop, in uh, uh, some are musician, actor. Uh, Acrobat, uh, so everything is mixed together. If, but if you don't have the ballet background, you uh, you won't be able to get into uh, it into the company because this is really the the structure of everything we do. 
it's mostly men, women, uh, an ensemble, a group of people that share uh, life together, share their passion. Um, here in Mexico, we have uh, two choreographers. We are always trying to be very respectful of the heritage of the company and the, the, the personality of the company. Uh, we are trying always to push the, the border and, evo and evolution is uh, our politic. Uh, Annabelle Lopez Ochoa, uh, she did exclusive work for us, uh, a duet who's opening the show, who is quite smooth, opening very, very slowly, a dive into the uh, video games, which is very actual, very fresh, uh, young, explore the physicality of uh, the artist of the company, and uh, it's, a, it's a ballet in eight tableaux, eight segments, who brings us um, through different kind of emotion again, a uh, very well balanced uh, ballet which, which lasts close to 55 minutes. It's a very ambitious production. Uh, of course, uh, the contrast between the contemporary dance and the classical music of Rossini is very interesting. So everything is mixed together uh, in very uh, balanced program. Well, I think uh, come with an open mind. I think if you've never been exposed to dance before, I think that's always important. Um, you know, not to judge a book by its cover, of course, at first. Um, and you might, you know, you might surprise yourself. You might really enjoy it and uh, could lead to other things, so. You may not like everything you see, but there is something that you will enjoy for sure. I would encourage anyone to come because really anyone, even if they have different tastes, will find something in the show to like because, like you said, it's a very diverse program. The first piece has lots of visual effects, lots of videos, lots of fun stuff like that, and the second piece is a little bit more, you know, the music is classical. It's a just totally different feeling, so I would encourage anyone to come because there's definitely something that you can relate to. So this is a good opportunity to come and see different aspects of dance and maybe it will open somebody's mind and give them inspiration.